Well, the world of international finance is biting its nails right now, certainly, as you've heard, that ha after Silicon Valley Bank, the one known for lending to Californian startups, collapsed last Friday. Now, in the press, the blame game is certainly playing out, and our press reviewer, Diptyque Laurent, is here for more. Well, Aaron, it is, of course, the biggest uh, bank collapse in 15 years since the subprime crisis, subprime lending crisis of 2018. And uh, as you said, the blame game is certainly playing out in the press. This is from the French business paper Les Echo, focusing uh, on this and the bank's collapse on its front page and notably the impact it'll have on markets. Uh, for this paper, it's clear that the mechanisms that were put into place after 2008 to protect the financial world from such a situation have been ineffective. Uh, the reason being primarily, the paper says, that banks like the Silicon Valley Bank were considered too small to need strong oversight and eventually slipped out of the purview of authorities supervising banks uh, after 2008. Now, in, 2000, uh, in the New York Times today, there's an interesting article from Elizabeth Warren, the Democrat senator, um, and she points finger at Wall Street itself. She says that Wall Street chief ex executives and their army of lawyers and lobbyists really uh, spent millions trying to defeat the Dodd-Frank Act that was passed in 2008 to protect customers, uh, to protect consumers rather. Uh, this coupled with Donald Trump pairing back that act in 2018 uh, has led to, to the, today's situation. And she says, if we are to yet again prevent such a situation from happening, it's crucial that the government uh, really punishes the executives of Silicon Valley Bank, some of whom were paying themselves Pretty large bonuses in the lead up to this bank's collapse, Erin. Certainly a story we've heard before, Dipti. Well, we'll change gears entirely now. Come to here in France, where uh, today marks 500 days until the 2024 Olympic Games begin. Now, that's something that a lot of the local press is picking up on. Why is that? Well, uh, it's on the front of a lot of papers. Let's start with Time magazine. This is a a cover from uh, for next month, actually, from for from for Time magazine's April issue, saving the Seine inside the radical effort to clean up the world's most romantic river. The magazine says they're looking in particular at Paris's ambitious uh, billion-dollar project to uh, billion-dollar uh, river restoration project uh, that aims to do what no one's done in over a century, making the swim uh, making the Seine swimmable again. And in fact, Emmanuel Macron tweeted out this cover on his in his. Uh, uh, just uh, yesterday, actually, he uh, used that to uh, to uh, ring in the 500 days until the Olympic Games, uh, uh, and promised that they would that the 2024 Paris Games will be the most beautiful games ever. Uh, you you'll see very little of that uh, optimism in the French press today. This is from uh, L'Humanité. Uh, this is uh, the communist paper, which is focusing on. Uh, the fiascos uh, that have been uh, happening around the Olympic Games, uh, notably the exorbitant ticket prices, the paper saying authorities had promised that these games will be inclusive. Well, they've clearly failed, at least for the moment, in that objective. Uh, and uh, I quite like the uh, editorial from Aujourd'hui en France today, where uh, they uh, talk about, um, they admit that there is very little enthusiasm around the games right now, but that is pretty customary of all Olympic games, be it London, Rio, Athens. I quote, before the games enthrall us, the Olympics always manage to annoy us first. And finally from you, Dipti, today is a very special day for mathematicians around the world. Tell us why. That's right. It's pie day, Erin. And I'm not talking about the delicious crusty pie. I'm talking about the mathematical number pie, the irrational mathematical number. March 14th is uh, International Day for Mathematics. It's International Pie Day. The reason being, if you use the month date format, it is actually 314, which are the first three numbers of pi, of course, which begins with 3.14 and goes on uh, to infinity. Um, it defines the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. Uh, the day was first recognized back in 1988 when Larry Shaw celebrated by cutting a uh, pie-shaped pi and reciting the value of pi to as many decimal places as possible. Actually, people in Egypt believed that the pyramids were built on the principles of pi because the ratio between the height of the pyramids and its, uh, the perimeter of its base are actually equivalent to the circle's radius and circumference. Also, uh, pi happens to be uh, Albert Einstein's uh, birthday, so what better day to celebrate mathematics around the world? Happy Pi Day. Glad you said that about the uh, the pyramids, Dipti, because I did have to memorize a 
pretty substantial chunk of those numbers when I was in school, and I always wondered why. And now, you know, it's in case you want to, case you want to build a new pyramid. Uh, <laughs> Tika Laurent uh, with the you press. You never review. know. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you very much.